Hi, Les from Retired and Living the Dream. And today's video is going to be about our trip to Pattaya, our one night in Pattaya. Now, we went down to Jomptium and Pattaya for two nights, and we stayed one night in Jomptium, then one night in Pattaya. So the reason why we went to Pattaya is to let our hair down every now and then and enjoy the live bands, and it's a bit of a change from where we live in the countryside at Rayong. So we went to meet a couple of subscribers and we had a good chat with them and as I said we put the worlds to rights and we were going to have a night out in Pattaya and it ended up that we were taking one of the subscribers around Pattaya and showing him the ropes as to where to go, what to see and what to do and sorry to say there's no scantily clad ladies on this video or videos of bars and things like that it's just a, a purely talking video but I'll give you some prices as to what we found out because the guy that we were with wanted to know some prices. So it was a fantastic night in Pattaya. Wow, for those people who are going to come to Pattaya, it is very, very busy compared to the last time we went there several months ago. Tree Town was dead, but this time Pattaya was buzzing. It really, really was. Tree Town, LK Metro, uh, Soy 6. Yeah, we did all the tour and we stayed out until about 1.30 in the morning when we were in Pattaya. And the place and the place we stayed in Pattaya was this place here, which is the Holiday Inn Express. I'll put some pictures of the room and the price a little bit later on. So for those who've never been to Pattaya before, one of the best places to stay is on or around Soy Bikau because then it's within walking distance everywhere. And this hotel here was on Soy Bikau, the Holiday Inn Express. It was a a good location, walking distance to everywhere, and well worth the money. So, what did we see when we went around Pattaya? Um, we went to, we, we drove down Soy 6, wow, Soy 6 was absolutely buzzing, and then we parked the car up at the hotel, and then we went for a walk around. We walked everywhere, uh, no need to catch any bar buses, because everywhere we walked was in five or 10 minutes walking distance. So, that's the beauty of Soy Bacow and the hotels around on or around Saibikau, it's walking distance to everywhere. So we went to LK Metro. Now with LK Metro, it's such a buzzing place anyway. It really, really is good. And for those people who've never really been to Pattaya before, um, it's you'll have heard all the stories about getting ripped off in go-go bars and things like that in Prague or Budapest and things like that. In Thailand, you don't get ripped off going into the, such places. It's free to get in, and okay, it's a little bit extra for the drinks, but um, uh, don't be afraid of going into these places and think I'm going to come out and the bar bill is going to be horrendous, because it isn't. It's, it's, a, it's a pleasant experience not to be ripped off in these places. So anyway, the prices of, we went into the Champagne Agogo, and the, the girl, one of the servers there was telling my wife what the prices were for the for the guy that we were with. And the prices, wow, have they gone up. So expensive now in my mind, that's what I think. So the bar fine for one of the popular girls that was in Champagne a Go-Go, the bar fine alone was 1,800 baht. And then for short time, that was 3,000, and for long time, it was 5,000. So as you can see, quite expensive to take a girl out of the go-go bar. Now we went to Scooters on LK Metro. I always like Scooters. Scooters is such a, a buzzing bar. Uh, it's our type of eerie music, the 70s and 80s music. Brilliant. I loved it. it. Always, always a good atmosphere in the Scooters bar. But the bar finds for the girls in the bars range from 500 baht to 800 baht. It, it depended on which bar that you got them. Um, as I say, but the bar fine is between five and 800 baht. 1,500 for short time for one of the bar girls and it went up, up to 4,000 baht, depending on which girl that you pick. So the prices are more expensive than what they used to be pre-COVID, but that's the way the cookie crumbles and that's what you've got to pay. And then we went into a, a soapy, a soapy bar on soy honey. Now the soapy on soy honey when we went in, there was lots of Indian guys all sat there. Uh, there was a group of maybe 15 to 20 of them all sat there ogling the girls. And we spent about half an hour and I explained to the guy how the soapies worked and what the 
what the procedure was. And then the guy came over and kindly gave us the prices for the girls in the soapy. I always find it interesting going into these places and I'm a people watcher. And I was watching these Indians and within about 10 or 15 minutes of us getting there, the management had a word of them and asked them to leave because not one of them had bought a drink. And within the 30 minutes of being in the soapy, it must have been about 40 odd, maybe it's a bit more, <coughs> Indians came in and out and not one of them bought a drink but they're all sat there ogling the girls and they were sent on their merry ways. Now the drinks in the soapy bar are a little bit more expensive. The guy that I was with had a, a whiskey and coke. I had a, a beer and my wife had a water and it came to 400 baht. So not an awful lot of money really when all said and done, but the prices, the prices of the girls in the soapy. Now they all have different numbers on and different badges. So the price for the soapy which was to include everything. The price started off at 2,600 baht and it went to 4,600 baht. So there was prices in between that of 3,000, three and a half. And at least with the soapy, you know what you're going to get and you know what you're going to pay. And if you take a girl from the go-go bar, it's going to cost a awful lot more than that. And again, if you take the girl from the bar, it's going to cost an awful lot more than that also. But at least with the soapy, you know what you're going to get. And for those people who've never had a soapy, you've got to go for a soapy. It is fantastic. It was one of them experiences that you'll never, ever, ever forget. So the hotel we stayed in, this one here, the Holiday Inn Express in Cybercow, we paid 1,218 baht for one night. And that included a buffet-style breakfast. Now, we've stayed here before, and the buffet breakfast is exceptional. It really is good. Plenty of choice variety and it's well worth the 1,218 baht. The rooms are immaculate, um, very very clean, very very comfortable, the pillows are amazing, the beds very very comfortable and as I say walking distance to everywhere in Patia. So for those people who want to be in the central Patia, go and stay at the Holiday Inn Express. That's my recommendations because it's a lovely place. Now there are plenty of budget hotels and I, I class a thousand baht a night as a, like a budget hotel in Patia. So if you take into the cost of the breakfast, 218 baht for me and my wife to have breakfast in the morning. Very, very cheap and very, very reasonable. So our trip to Patia, we loved it. It was fantastic. It was over and done with very, very quickly. So we're planning to go again next month uh, for another couple of nights, maybe we're going to go for three nights next month and uh, again meet a few people and let our hair down in Patia because it's getting busier and busier now and the, the atmosphere and the vibe, it's back or it's coming back. It's much better to see Patia the way it is now than the way it was when there was no tourists. So if you've got any questions, leave a a comment down below so if you're going to take the time to message me I'm going to take the time and message you back so from Les retired and live the dream bye for now